Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Surrounded on the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Thanks for all the support on our first look at the game. I thought it'd be kind of fun to just take a survivor, see how long we can keep them alive, maybe try to get into the workbench a little bit today and some of the other things if we can, depending on, of course, what we find and what we loot and locate. So uh, I thought that would be kind of interesting to do. Uh, once your survivor does die, you start off with a new survivor, so I, you don't keep any of your progress whatsoever. So it's kind of a one-shot deal with your person. At least that's what I've noticed so far. Uh, we're going to give it this a little bit of a second here. It is 8.59 on a Monday morning. Getting ready to do my first stream of the day. We'll do our final episode of Sapiens this afternoon. Uh, we've learned everything. We'll do a little more uh, work on there. A few things that I did not know about in that game that I want to talk about. So we'll do some Sapiens this afternoon. All right, let's get started on it. Let's go ahead and do a new game. Long Down Valley. Now, I'm kind of curious. If we go back, let's go back. I'm kind of curious. If I say continue, it's going to leave me off where I was. I'm not sure if maybe I get to keep my base and I can take my new survivor to a base that I've already started. So I'm kind of curious about that. I wouldn't think that's how it would work, but you never know. So let's go ahead and do it. Long Down Valley. What I like... Good morning, Morris. What I like about... Are you sure you want to start a new game? You already have a save detected. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So maybe that is the case. Once I get a base up and going, maybe I can take a new survivor to that base and continue the base on. So you don't lose everything. The real Johnny F. Howdy. Colorado, huh? I lived in Colorado for a little while. That's actually where my wife is... Uh, that's where I met my wife was Colorado. Who do we have here today? Jay, for our journal. We have David Jones. Uh, he was a police officer. Oh, well, he's got a police uniform on. That's pretty interesting. And up here, skills and quests. Skills uh, coming soon and quests coming soon as well. But there's our information. So here, here he is. Uh, I have to do J. I always forget I have to do J. Okay, so what I noticed is over the weekend, I gave this another roll and tried it out. And I noticed that there are... Uh, it seems like there's a lot more zombies uh, in, in areas, in locations. Let's take a look in our trash. Oh my god, look at this trash bag. It has a pickaxe for us. We're going to put this guy down on our melee. Uh, and if you hold uh, control and, is it right click? Left click. No, control and left click, you could pick things up real quick that way and get things shifted over into your inventory much faster. Let's pull our knife out. That's great. We got a pickaxe so we can get stone and stuff for a campfire. Uh, I don't think we could use the pickaxe on wood, although I don't know that for a fact. Uh, let's put that on our... Nope, it's going to be melee. I think I have to take this out first. What I don't know how to do is rotate this so that I can put this in here. I don't know how to rotate that. If somebody knows how to do that, that would be fantastic. Let me know. Uh, I did notice there's more zombies over the weekend, and uh, they cause quite a bit of a problem for me. Do we have anything in these boxes down below? The dumpster? No. The car is empty. How about this pickup? It's also empty. Oh, interact with pickup. Oh boy, look at all this. Uh, wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our hat on. Uh, with another war knife. Uh, Gunpowder. I'm going to put this stuff back in this truck and we'll take it out later. Some sunglasses. We have a repair kit for a vehicle. There's a light. I think I'm going to drop this wooden here. We'll take the repair kit with us, and that way, if indeed, and we'll put the pickaxe in here too. If we run into um, a vehicle that needs a little repair, we can go ahead and do that. And we're also going to want to look for a backpack. Six miles from Utah, huh? Okay, Variety lived in um, Aurora, Colorado, and I worked in Burlington, Colorado, on the eastern side of uh, Colorado for a little while at a small radio station. In Burlington, I used to do the farm report. Okay, now we need to be a little bit careful here. Uh, there's fewer zombies around this. Than, oh, they're inside. I see where they are. Okay, so you know what's a nice thing? Instead of having to fight them, is you come over here and hit O and do that, and they're going to come running over here. We'll draw their attention over there. And then maybe what we can do, see they don't see me here, so I'm zipping around the outside edge. And by hitting O, I can whistle them out of the area. And then they kind of stay away and it gives you a chance to get in there and, uh, you know, loot the buildings. Now some of the zombies, of course, have pretty good loot on them as well. Let's try that again. We'll do that right there and we're going to run back this way. 
We should have a bunch of zombies heading over to where we whistled. Yep, there goes the crawlers and stuff. The crawlers are a pain in the butt to try to hit because they're, they're, they're just, well, they're crawlers. They're in the ground. All right, let's take a look and see what we get. Oh my gosh, the loot has really it seemed like it's increased here. Crouch. This place is full of loot. Look at all this loot in here. Oh, there's some rope. We don't have a backpack though, so I really can't take any of this stuff with me at the moment. We'll just leave it here. Nothing to interact with there. Oh, here's here's a good here's some good boxes. These tend to be the ammo boxes. So hit C to crouch and, and sneak. Okay, we've got ourselves a rifle. Put that on there. And the face where we'll leave that right there. And we'll leave that walkie-talkie in there too. I don't know what some of those things do as of yet. Still learning what the game uh, has to offer. Uh, we've got all that stuff there too. All I know is that sometimes it's better to avoid the zombies than to... Oh, there's a fire axe over here on the wall. That would be pretty handy to have. I don't know if I have enough spaces for that, though. Okay, he's working on it. He's working on it. Hope everyone's doing great. Had a nice weekend. Quiet. Did some pool time and all that good stuff. Oh, there's the axe. Uh, okay, let's leave the repair kit here. Oh, man, I really need... Okay, we're not. We're taking that repair kit with us. It's, it's better to have a vehicle. Then we can come back and pick up more of this loot that way. Golf club, nails, and wood. Okay, so we still need that backpack. That backpack's going to be important. We could vault over the fence, which is pretty handy to get away. Do some running. We're going to run by the front of this place and see if there's anything here of interest for us. There doesn't look like there's any vehicles to actually loot, but the loot inside these this building so far has been fabulous. So if we can get a hold of a nice vehicle, uh, we can come back and uh, deal with that and get that loot. Nothing in that car. Nothing in that car. Nothing in the bus. Okay, so there's nothing there for us. But the fire truck could have uh, a little something here for us. Oh! <laughs> Bellhop. Okay, we're going to keep on going down the street here. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to kind of try to see how long we can keep somebody alive for. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a shot here. What was this guy's name? David. David Jones. David Jones. Okay. Yeah, if we could find a vehicle, that would be great. Oh, there's a... That's a bus down there. Uh, last time when we were giving this the first look, we uh, had our RV get kind of high centered on one of these bumps in the street. It was said that you can use the uh, letter X to kind of reset a vehicle, right it and things of that nature. So I guess that's something we probably could have done. We have no food and no water. And a matter of fact, my last character died because of a lack of water, which I thought was pretty interesting. All I need is a locker. Yeah, I need something. Then we can backtrack and go through those buildings and get all that good loot again. I also noticed while playing alone is that there's a lot of these wood piles and stone piles all over the place. So there's plenty of resources to be had. Now you can see we've got a ton of zombies out here. Just a bunch of them. And I don't think it's very wise to go in there and just start trying to shred them with this little tiny knife we have. So I'm going to try to do as much avoiding as possible. Oh, except for this guy right here. Oh, I stopped swinging. Boom. Uh, we'll take those rounds. The developer has said that he's got a couple more places coming to the game. Places to uh, loot and stuff. I really would like to find that vehicle as soon as possible. Oh, I think I... Did I... I don't think we've got anybody on us. No, they're just walking. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to inspect. I don't want to inspect. Control, left click. Control, left click. <laughs> uh, we okay? We are okay. I don't even know if these rounds I picked up are good for this weapon. We'll have to see. I think they are.
GPS, we can look at the map now. Broken glass. That's it. Oh, she's got me. She's got me in here. She's got me trapped. Lousy lady. Okay, looking for a vehicle. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Looking over the fence as best I can here to see if maybe we've got an RV. I found the dune buggy over the weekend, which was a pretty cool vehicle to have. It has a small trunk, but the dune buggy looks pretty cool. It's more like a, a sand rail, is what I would call it. Very cool looking. Oh, there's a repair shop over there for vehicles. Our health is already down halfway. Let's go ahead and hit O. We'll whistle. Get him to come over this way. There's, there's a lot of open space here, too, for um, building a base in as well. I just got to remember what side of town I came in on. I came in on the water side, the water tower side of town here. Make sure we backtrack down that street and go back to those places that had all that really good loot in them. Oh, food and water is looking pretty, pretty bad. Oh, I hate the crawlers, man. I just can't stand crawlers. They're disgusting. See if there's any quick loot we could do in here. Uh, we'll take that water jug. Oh, geez, I can't take it because I've got stuff in my inventory. Let's take that water jug because we're going to need that. And I've got a power bar. Sweet. All right. Very good. Let's check in here. Let's eat that. And we're going to actually eat that too. Drink that water. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, ran out of water and died. Uh, there's some painkillers. Medication and there's a bowl and stuff for cooking better meals, but of course we don't have ah bandage Bandage perfect a little bit of health for us there Didn't I arrest you once She should not have touched me Don't forget your water your food comes up on its own uh, Oh boy, I'm gonna use that water that's got our water filled up. Good. And we got a big water on us. Let's go to that uh, garage right there and see if we can find anything of worthwhile in there. We're going to cut the uh, cut the difference here. All right, beautiful. Awesome. Nothing for that car. Gas can. Okay, there's some gas here at the gas station, the repair station. That's nice. We got some glasses there. Uh, more sunglasses. Not everything you can search at the moment, but a lot of it you can. There's the hospital. Wow, I still have not found a vehicle yet. Most of the vehicles I've found so far have been just sitting on the road, it seems like. So maybe coming into town wasn't the best idea for getting that sort of stuff. Let's get him to come over this way, that crawler. We'll check this fire truck, see if it's got anything of worthwhile on it for us. Uh, that one saw us. Um, in the comments of the last episode, it was talked about how uh, this game is very similar to a couple others that are out right now. And I looked at the other two. There's Dead Polly and Something City. Ooh, here's a crashed plane. And I do see the resemblance when it comes to the AI and the UI and all that stuff. But in terms of how the game actually plays, it's very different. I need a backpack, man. I really need a backpack. There's a flashlight. We could put that down here. And we've got that GPS now, so we can open the map to the game. But this is going to have uh, some really quality loot in it right here. We've got the uh, military tent, and this airplane has a ton of stuff in it. Now, I thought those dead trees meant that we were in an area that was uh, polluted, but that does not seem to be the case. We'll whistle over here and pull those guys this way. Just use O to whistle, in case I hadn't said that yet. So you can draw them all out of the way there. And let's do that with these guys over here, too. There we go. You guys come on over this way. I noticed that they like to go where the vehicles are, too. 
I may have drawn those guys right to where I'm going to be. <laughs> not, not the best. Not the smartest, but there we go. Ammo container, empty. Ooh, pickaxe, wood. Uh, we can't pick up any of that stuff, so it doesn't matter. Let's check this one here real quick, too. Again, not much. Oh, we got a... We got these guys right here. We'll take those rounds with us. We're gonna leave this hat behind and take the cowboy hat because that's what we do. Yeehaw. This police officer always wanted to be a cowboy. Well, that was kind of a bust right there at the military zone, but let's try this spot right here. This is gonna have some stuff in it too. Be kind of cool if some of the military areas had like landmines and stuff that you'd had to watch out for and everything. There is a bunch of dudes right over there. Uh, that is an hunting rifle, I think. This 45 caliber. I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, I really don't want to leave that ammo behind, but I can't do much with it at the moment. I have no storage. I still don't have a backpack. Let's crouch down. Let's go to tab real quick. What do we have on rounds here? 308s, and this takes a 308. So let's go ahead and take this, and uh, can we drag it over to there? inspect there it is right there so I'm gonna drop that can of food I'm gonna grab this and put this right there I'm gonna drop those in there I'm gonna take these and put them back into the loader we close that out and we can pick up that can of food that we dropped right there okay can of soup good okay I want to check can we check that is there anything inside here oh there's an ammo crate in here this ammo crate, I believe, is something you can just put on the ground and um, store things in once you have a base. Oh, I really have no space for anything. I would if I didn't have that repair kit on me, but I'm still counting on a vehicle, you guys. So again, all this stuff is something we need to come back and re-loot. Is there any vehicle in this town that we could possibly get our hands on? I did find a Jeep once in a parking lot. Get on the edge. Looks like it's getting to be dark here. Food and water are fine. We're doing good. Island Papa, hello. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you got here too. Purd, hello. Come on, where's that vehicle, you guys? We need a nice... We need a, we need a trunk. Nothing there. There are a handful of vehicles that you can use in the game. There is a Jeep, there is a dune buggy, the RV, we've tried that out. Uh, there is a sedan. I think there's also a military uh, Humvee also that you can pick up. Maybe if I control, I can aim better. You can see it brings them right in. Headshot, of course, gets you a quicker kill. R to reload. Who's got a backpack on him? Come on, people. Uh, lock picks. I, I, I like the animation in the game. I do. Still, and he runs slower with the rifle out. If I put the rifle away, uh, I guess I gotta pull a knife out. If I go to two. I'm not sure how you put something away, but you can see I move much faster with the uh, knife in hand. And I have noticed that some of the zombies do get stuck. And we just had a little bit of a light glitch right there as the sun is going down. Yeah, it's going to get dark. Yeah, multiplayer is coming to the game later. Okay, we'll whistle there. There's a nice crate over by these, these vehicles. I can't really do much with it. Maybe I shouldn't hold out for the vehicle first, but the backpack is what I really need. We need that backpack. Sorry, it's going to get dark here, guys. You're not going to be able to see too much. Let's just check these boxes real quick. Uh, I will take... No, I won't take that because I have no room for it, but I will take that cloth. We've not found any cream yet. I'm going to just zip on past these guys. Can I do anything with this car? If you stand at the hood of the car, it'll tell you if you can repair it or not. And that one obviously is not something we can repair. Oh, I think I see an RV over here. Hold on. It's kind of shoved in here. Is that a camper? Oh, uh, no. That looks. Oh, this is the... Okay, this is the trader. 
So we can actually stay in here for the night and be safe. Hello, hello everybody, hello. So these are your traders. Maureen Pierce, Ray Hoover, and here's the trader. This is what they have right here for us if we wanted to buy things from them. I do not see a backpack in their inventory. But they do have a GPS, which would be nice, 9mm, which we found some rounds over there by the, uh, the guys. The food is always over by the city. Uh, canned spaghetti would be nice as well. We have no money on us, so this doesn't give us anything at all. The binoculars actually go down here in the uh, hot bar. Some rounds and a few other tools and stuff that are here, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, where's the backpack, people? This is the crafting station where we can do a few different things. Uh, it's not showing me what I can make, though. There there we go. Sleeping bag. 250. Doesn't look like you can craft any of this stuff in here, though. Oh, there's, there's a little something. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. But uh, there's a crafting station. And here we can cook. Looks like we can make a salad bowl. And uh, cooked meat, which is kind of cool. We're going to head on out, and uh, that is the trading post. If we go to our GPS, which is just M, uh, we are right up here at the edge of the map, it looks like. So we were just down here, and it looks like I think we started out up here somewhere. So we're kind of going the wrong way. We're not going to run into much of anything. Uh, we might go down this road just a little bit further to see if we do have a vehicle that we can repair and jump into. Got a busted down chopper. I think I can drag these guys all over to here. Yeah, there they go. They are a Kevin. Uh, he's got him stuck. He's got himself stuck on that helicopter. So I think what we'll do is we'll kill him and then see if there's any loot here at the heli the chopper. <laughs> It's almost like it lets them have a hit or two. There we go. There we go. Backpack. Thank you for the backpack. It's a small one, but it's better than nothing. There's some paste. We need that to make our bandages. Oh, bigger backpack. Oh, just creepy. Um, I want to take this and use and and I want to take it and, and work on it in a different spot. I don't know if they know I'm here or not. There's never seems to be really any zombies like in the upstairs area, so we're kind of safe up here. It's a desk. Get some more rounds. That's nice. Ball cap and that. All right, a ball cap and a bowl. I imagine that's for the salad cooking that we saw a little sec just a second ago. Uh, we got another bottle of water, which is nice. As I said last episode, I died because of a lack of water. I ran out of water. So I'm not going to be leaving that behind or talking about how much I have all the time because it uh, wound up killing me. Maybe the vehicles are a little more of a rarity now. I don't know. Uh, bolt cutters so we can get into some lockers. And we've got that right there. And let's take that duffel bag as well because that's extra storage and it's better than that little backpack. Takes up a few more spaces, but we have a few more spaces in it. So that's a nice find right there is the duffel bag. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open this. We're going to throw those rounds in there, and we're actually going to take this backpack and just drop it. There we go. We're going to throw that in there. We're going to throw you in there. Uh, we'll keep the food handy. We'll put the bed in there. We'll put the bolt cutters in there, and we'll keep our water handy too just because we don't want to not have that handy to us. Can I make any bandages? Bandage, I can craft a bandage. Very good. They'll stack to four, I believe, and we could craft a second one. We could craft a second one, very good. How about a third? Oh yeah, give me a third. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got a full stack. Full stack of bandages. All right, we're looking good. Oh, let's go back in there and let's put this back on equipment. There we go. Sun's coming up. Let's take a look at the map. Where are we? We are way down south, so there is a dirt road up here on our left that I think I want to go down to. Look at the size. Oh, this is in development over here. Longdon Port's in development. Valley Safe Zone, Grain Valley. Elwood. 
There's an FOB. That's one of those uh, military areas that has the uh, radiation, so you got to watch out. There's Trader Joe's over here. Valley Safe Zone. Lawrence Creek in development. So some of the sounds looks like they're not quite open yet, which explains why I ran into a town the other day that had absolutely nothing in it. It was empty. There were buildings and stuff, but there was nothing to actually do in it. That's where I died. <laughs> I took the dune buggy and I went for a ride just to see what I would run into. Uh, this looks familiar to me right here. The church. Yeah, the church with the white picket fence for the graveyard around it. There is a graveyard here. Well, maybe not. Maybe there's not a graveyard. This is just a parking area. Just a parking area. Ah, oh, sun's up. Beautiful. we got a couple of zombies out front. And we've got all their attention. Let's go ahead and zip on around the side. Oh, that guy saw us. We'll get uh, we'll get rid of what looks like a clown. Gross. There you go. Die, clown. I'll take your money and your cloth. Times were tough for the clowns. They weren't making much money anymore. <laughs> Times were tough for the clowns. And let's go ahead and whistle this guy over here. There you go. Everybody come over this way. There's a dead body laying out here. Oh, I also used a vehicle um, um, to just run over some deer so I could eat deer meat. So that's a thing you can do. Let's go ahead and throw that uh, repair kit in there. And we'll grab that tape and we'll grab that there rope. And that's not a bad little find right there. Oh, all the bodies down here. Ah, water. Perfect. Electronic wire. Random spiral of electronic wires. I, I'm going to leave that there. I'm, I'm still going to focus on just the basic starter survival stuff here real quick if we can. There's a tent. <laughs> Giving him the high ground actually helped a little bit. We'll grab that other backpack right there just to see if it's better. we got a gas can, so if we do find a vehicle, we can refuel. Uh, there's a tent. I think the tent might not be a bad thing to do. You could set it alongside the road and then be able to come back to it later on and uh, grab the loot out of it. So you can, you know, loot a place, leave the loot behind, and come back for it. Oh, that freaked me out. I thought there was, like, uh, you know, zombies in here. You can't search those dead guys. Uh, no, nothing here. We don't want the hockey mask. We want the respirator in case we run into some kind of uh, nothing. Okay. If we run into a radiated zone, at least we've got a little bit of protection there. Okay, I don't see anything else in here for us to grab. Nothing down that side of the building. Uh, there's a wood pile here. Uh, I'll take the wood now. We've got some space. I'll grab up some of the wood. And uh, there's a flashlight. We don't need that either. Not at the moment anyways. I imagine we could probably sell that later on down the road. Uh, here's another dirt path. Let's follow this one see where it takes us. How's my food and water? Food could use a little help. Hunger 5. Okay, hunger 5. There we go. A little bit of something in our stomachs. Let's take this dirt path and see where it goes. What's the map say? Where are we at? Lots of nooks and crannies in the game, which I like. I always love that stuff. Always love that stuff. Okay, so we were there. We're going, basically, if we keep going this way, we should run into something that we can uh, go loot. Area to loot. Yeah, there is a dramatic music sound that comes on when the zombies are alerted to you and they are coming towards you. Here's some new construction. Oh, there's a whole new development going on in here. What do we got here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh! Zombie! <laughs> Disgusting. You got jaundice. You need more vegetables and fruit. More fruit. Oh, there we go. Water. Those yellow eyes. The yellow eyes. Fertilizer. Let's get the... Uh, uh, we got some uh, cream. Okay, we're going to leave the nails and stuff behind. We're not building anything at the moment. Uh, you can't do anything with the pile of bricks. What about this pile of uh, concrete? Nope. Concrete mixer? No. Can't do anything with that either. Can I crouch and get to these garbage bags without her seeing me? No, that's okay. So I, I don't know if the sneak really works very well. Okay, she's wearing a bathing suit. Kill her. Okay, she's got a shiv on her. She's a tough girl. 
take that right there. Scrap metal you want, because we're going to need to... Uh, can I... I can't get in the vehicle, though, huh? Okay, so we found a pickaxe before. I'm going to drop that in there. Drop you right there. And there's a clip. We'll take that clip. And, God, I should take the pickaxe, too. Let's take the pickaxe as well. Is there any way to get up on the next floor here? Was there stairs anywhere that I... I didn't see any stairs. I don't know if there's anything up on that second floor. I have noticed that a lot of the buildings, you can't get to the second floor. But what I do like is that the buildings are occupied with um, benches and things of that nature. Let's go ahead and give these guys a whistle and see. Oh, can we drive this semi? Oh my god, that would be fun. Perfect. Get out of here, you dirty zombie. You built the zombie. There we go. Take that, take that, take the gunpowder. I have no idea what the paint roller is for. Probably for painting. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'm willing to bet you paint with that. Uh, the box has nothing on it. We got an ambulance out here in the middle of all this mess. Nothing to search in it, though. Wow, this is all destroyed here. Come on, follow me over here, you guys. Let's get you pulled out of here. We'll grab this guy, too. Get them all out here, and we'll just leave them out in the forest. Interact with a gas pump. Ooh, I bet if I had an empty gas can, I could do that, huh? Right now, I'm just throwing everything in. Just throwing all the stuff in. I'll organize later. Uh, can I actually... I believe these gas cans already have gas in them. I'm not, I don't think you keep the gas can, actually, if you use the gas can. You don't keep it. It winds up uh, disappearing. Well, we had one of them stick to us, huh? All right, let's kill this guy. The old timer was smart. Uh, we still don't have the good knife. There's a nice hunting knife you can get a hold of. Oh, interact broken medical crate. Okay. Nothing in those boxes. There's another tent. Again, I'm just throwing stuff in right now and I will organize here in a little bit. Let's try to get some loot. I'm still looking for that car, which will be able to drop everything into the car. Uh, that's the first broken radio I've found, so I'm going to hold on to that. Not quite sure what that does. And then there's some shell casings as well. How do I rotate items? Like, I've got two rope going this i got three rope going this way. i got two this way. R, huh? Oh, thank you for Pete's sake. I could not figure that out the other day. I've been... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, look at the zombies running. Where are they going? Oh, look at that. Oh, man, how cool it would be to throw a bomb right over there. Kaboom! Look at that. It cleared out the whole area. Oh, sweet. All right, let's... Uh, Check that for trash. They must know I'm here, so they 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 fired the siren off to save me. Give me a chance to do all the looting. There's a lot of stuff that does not stack. It's okay. I think that inventory management is kind of key to a game. Oh my God! There's another duffel bag. That would be kind of handy to have. How close do I have to be? That, that, that works. <laughs> About that close. Okay. I got a mighty whistle. I got a mighty, mighty whistle on me. I actually do. I got a... I, oh, jeez. Okay, sorry. I, I didn't realize you were... Don't touch me! You're gross. You're disgusting. Die. Ooh. Radiation pills. Okay, those will be handy. 
and a can of baked beans, which we will eat right away. And hat, 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 all that stuff. I don't want any of that stuff at the moment. Where's this bridge go? To the other side. Oh, there's a shipping crate up here. Let's go see the shipping crate. Maybe there's a brand new car in it. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Bahama, Bahama. Uh, I have to make the comment that the stable build does have a bug where sometimes your corpse is not interactable. Worked with the dev yesterday. This looks to be resolved in the unstable branch, so we'll be in the next patch. Sweet. Okay, so you're working with the developer on that. Well, thanks for being here and helping us out today. I do appreciate that for sure. Oh, I can't. I, I can't access some of those crates you can get into, and this is a broken down bridge. This would actually be a place to build Can you build your base up on this bridge. That would be kind of cool. You could drive your vehicles up here, fence off the end. Granted, you've only got one way in, one way out, but you know, live dangerously in the apocalypse. That's what I say. Live dangerously. Okay, let's go see what goodness is inside this const these construction crates over here. If we can get here. Yeah, we can. Ooh. There's an ammo crate that we can throw ammo in. A hunting hatchet. Damage 28. Damage 15. I'm going to drop that. And we're going to grab that instead. I probably should take that sledgehammer too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to remember where some of this stuff is. I, I really kind of expected me to find a vehicle by now, so I'm a little surprised I haven't. But that's okay. That's the, that's the roll of the dice. Hunting rifle we have. We'll throw that in there. Tape measure, not sure what that's for, but I'm sure it's got something to do with building. We'll take that metal. Uh, did I put that in here? Where did I put my metal? I did. How far does that stack to? It doesn't go in there unless you take it and drag it in there, I see. Uh, I'll grab a tape measure. I'll, I'll take one just because we don't know. Sledgehammer, that's a weapon as well, but I find it's slow and it's not going to work for me. So we're back. We're, we got a hatchet now. <laughs> the tires. I like this. The tires in the ground. That's interesting. Okay, that's neat. My grandparents actually had that at their house for a while. A use for old tires. Line the driveway with some old tires. Hello. What you got going on? Donna Martinez. Okay. So I can actually use their crafting stations. That's interesting. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing in there. Hello. What do you have? Equipment trader, huh? I see. And this is what you have for sale. I don't want any of that stuff. Junk, he says. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, shotgun. He's got some sheet metal. Ooh, what can I... Can I... Uh... I can just use that? No, I can't. How do I purchase that? Um, inspect. Spaghetti. So, okay. Um, do I have to take my money out of my thing here? 124 out of there. Can't put it in there. Look at the price. 315? <sighs> Holy crap. 225? I don't have anything. I can't buy anything from you. You're expensive, sir. Very expensive. How much is this for? 950. 300. I understand the weapons, yeah. 900, 900. But wow. That's a lot for some food. Okay, well. So be it. Oh, Jenny out here. Oh, here's a weapon guy. Oh, wow. Look at this. Holy crap. Makeshift LMG. Woohoo, baby. That's a big one. Twelve. Just 
drag and drop the item you want to sell by, huh? Let's take this out of here. Uh, I would want it. I wanted to buy the food. This is some more rounds, though. Aha. Okay. Confirm the 18 rounds. I, I can't buy 18 rounds. What? 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 Maybe I don't have enough 124. What if I do... No, I don't want to do that. I do this here. Oh, that something happened there. No. Why can't I... There we go, there we go. So if I take... How much are these a piece? Can't tell now. Let's get six, if I could do six. There we go, okay, so I just didn't have enough. All right, uh, very good, I see. Okay, we've got rounds for that gun, so we might as well buy some more rounds for it. That's the, as long as we've learned how to purchase things from these folks now, that is a good start. All right, there's all kinds of people in here. I'll work on the crafting bench when I get my own crafting bench. Where are we going? We are going... We're following this road. You swing a little slower with the axe, but at the moment, it's, it's still okay. Let's go ahead and use one of those, and we will use one of those. There we go. That's going to bring our water down, though. We need to find some water, but fortunately we happen to be at a nice grocery store, it looks like. Or I could just tilt my head up in the sky and drink the rain coming down. There we go. Do we pull them out of the building, you think? A lot of them? These are the vehicles I believe we can hit with the sledgehammer to get the metal pieces out. These red ones? Crawler. Pacific Palm Mall Cafe. Oh, tell me you've got some drinks in here, man. Food, baby, food. You don't want to get stuck in here. Make this quick. Uh, beans, beans, beans. Mm -hmm. You know it. You know this. You know the saying. Beans, more beans. Uh, that was the lifesaver right there. Food is half full now. What do we got? Anything in here? No. Okay. We got a bellhop outside. Holy cow! Look at this place. All right, let's go. Let's give it an O. Everybody, come this way, please. I need you to vacate this store. We have a problem. Oh my God! It's really coming down. Oh, look at them all. Jeez, there's a bunch of them in there. Go around to the back side of the place. All black vehicles only are the ones you get the metal out of, huh? Okay, the hatchet is one of the best um, weapons in the game, the melee weapons. Okay, cool. Then we've got the best stuff. Ooh, I sure would like a piece of gum right now. Got a McDonald's employee here. Nothing. Uh, some cloth, I'll take that, and I will take those rounds. Nails, of course, are going to be... You know what, let's grab those nails, too. We've got space for them. Nothing in the suitcase. Speakers. Aha, this is a good one here. Oh, another repair kit. I just can't do it. i got no room. Here's our compass, which goes right down here on the hot bar. Repair kit. I'm going to leave that behind. I don't like leaving it behind, but we are. Trash bag. Again, open. Take this stuff right here. Uh, another water. I'm going to use that because we were a little bit low on the water still. 
Leave the pickaxe behind. Okay, we got more water here. Is there anything I can do with this one here? Oh, it's full. We might have to put the... Uh... I don't like leaving water behind. I don't like leaving that behind. Um, open. Let's slide. Through. Okay, no, we don't need that. We need this guy right here. No, I want open, not inspect. Let's try to make a little bit of room for the water. As I said, I ran out the other day and it was it killed me. So I want to keep that right there. Uh, I already got that open. open. And we'll take that lantern. The lanterns are really nice. I like the lanterns. They do a good job of lighting your base up. Did we uh, uh we still got this guy right here, but Can't stack it. Ugh, that's frustrating. Oh, it's the arcade. Oh, God. Never trust a guy in a scuba suit in the middle of the day. You just can't do it. Don't trust him. Scuba suit, indeed. That's garbage over here. Nothing in it. Okay, so that was... Uh, oh, we got a soda machine. We got some toothpaste. Just kidding. It's not toothpaste. I realize that. Use. Uh, we'll take that other lantern right there, too. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, you missed. Glad about a swing. Yeah, it's really coming down out here. I need to get these guys to come out of here. Run! Run! I think I got them all over there. Holy cow, it is really miserable out here. Kill this one, and then we're going in. Oh, crawler. Disgusting. Ooh, nothing in those trash bags, huh? Oh, look at this. Side where it's quieter. It's wood. We've got the bolt cutters already. And we'll take that lantern. And we have a bolt cutter. Oh, there's a handgun. Let's get you put down there. I would love to take this stone too. Well, actually, I can get stone. It's the it's the handgun I'd like to have. Is there any room? Jeez, there's just no room. I should put this tent down out there and grab that nine millimeter. Okay, we got some crawlers in here still. Oh god, I thought there was somebody standing there. Backpack. It's a fitting room. Backpacks and hats. Hats. They sold backpacks and hats in here. What's the second floor going to be like? Oh boy. Um, oh, they saw me. Dang it, Jim. Let's go 
go set that tent down and throw some stuff in it that we don't necessarily have to have right off the bat here. Oh my god, this storm is amazing. The sounds are great. The rain looks like it'd be kind of painful, actually. Lightning. It's very dramatic. The backpacks? The Stacy? Okay, Bahamuts. Baha Bahamut says yes, they're always empty. So you can fill them with your own stuff. Open place. Okay, so if I put this down right here. Uh, Q and E to rotate. If I put this right over here, I should be able to drop a bunch of stuff in here. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought that something was coming after me right there. Jeez. Actually, I need to be in here. Open this. I'm going to drop you in there. You, 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 you. Open this. More repair kits. I guess I can. Those bolt cutters in there. I have a second tent. Uh, that's kind of an issue. I can't see that. That needs to be fixed right there. Uh, let's place this tent as well. And again, I can uh, drop some stuff in here if I wanted to. We'll keep the money and stuff on us. All this stuff we can keep. Food. Put that in a special container along with the rounds. That's empty now, which is nice. This is not empty, but it's working. What are these? What are these anyways? These rounds right here. 45, huh? Um, I guess if I find a 45, I'm going to want that, huh? Okay, so we can sleep. I forgot I had that sleeping bag. Okay. Still no vehicle. Uh, we pulled all these zombies out here. Did they just kind of go back in after a period of time? It looks like they might, huh? Let's see if they went back into... Oh, what's this? Is this a working Humvee? Oh, be working. Be a working Humvee. Oh, dang it, Jim. That would be a nice one, huh? That'd be fun to drive around in. Alright, we're going back to the mall. This little shopping center here. adds to the uh, danger here, doesn't it? This storm. Can't hear nothing going on around you. Okay, let's see if we can grab up the rest of this loot. There's another tent. I'll take it. Sucking up some space in our inventory, but that's okay. We'll keep it anyways. Did I see a... No, I did not. We're back inside, ladies and gentlemen. Inventory management, always a challenge for me. I'm see I want to see if we can get up on the second floor. I'm dying to know what's up there. It's probably not... Oh, God, this guy got me again. <laughs> it's just, so I suppose if I take all those hats and all that stuff, I could probably sell it. Okay, we got a guy up on that second floor there. Oh my gosh, there's a few of them up here. Okay. Oh.
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Okay. zombies here, which is really cool, I think. Okay. Oh. Unfair that these guys, these crawlers, can hit you so much before you can get a hand on them. It's not right. The crawlers are a real pain in the butt. Ooh. Varmint rifle, huh? A varmint rifle. Okay, so we're shooting small animals with that. Uh, some more lotion. Let's use a bandage as well. I've noticed the zombies sometimes get stuck a little bit here and there on things. Oh god, what's in here? Hunting rifle, we have the hunting rifle. Yep, hunting rifle. Okay, that was it there in the bathroom. That one's closed. Cell phone, can't do the fishing pole. We've got a kayak over here. Golf clubs, nicely decorated in here. I like that. Good stuff. And nothing in there. Okay, so not everything has something in it, which makes a lot of sense. Oh boy. Um, open. Another repair kit. I have no vehicle to repair, though. I'm very sad by that. Let's get the other one of those, and we'll take that right there. I don't need that compass. We have one. Let's open that. I could sell it, I imagine, but... Let's just do that right there. We'll leave that compass behind. Now that we have our tents placed out front there, we should have all of our loot up there. Boxes, boxes, and good boxes. Another repair kit. These I'm finding now on a very regular basis, the repair kits. If you're wondering about that, they seem to pop up quite often. I'm going to actually just throw that right in here to, for the time being. And you know what? Let's get that varmint rifle put in there. And we'll put these guys in here too. And the wood. We'll just keep those because we seem to find a lot of that stuff right there. How's my water? My water's good. My food, though, is hurting. We have some food, so we're okay. We've got a little bit of food, but not much. I need to find some food. Okay. Put that. A little bit of gunpowder there. Place the bolt cutter in the tool slot. Awesome. Did not know that would work that way. I tried a couple other tools and I just haven't had any luck with it. Uh, we got a crawler on the walkway. Uh, she saw me. Dang, man, she's she's something else. Nothing. Nothing but an old backpack. Crawler did not come with us. We got a couple of guys. It looks like they're stuck in here. Once it gets stuck like this, sometimes they're difficult to hit and they will get you before you can get them, I've noticed. So you got to be careful about these stuck ones. I've seen them get stuck on cars as well. Certain kind of corners and stuff too. Just the hitbox is a little weird, I guess. But it's all being worked on, right? So far, I guess everything runs pretty smoothly for me. Uh, I got nothing. Fridge? I oh, got some water. I'll take that. Oh, 
Here comes a jet flyover. You got a fry on you, lady? I could use a French fry. Nothing. Everybody coming upstairs to come get us. I think we've been through the upper floor of the uh, yeah, extra compass. Okay, I think we've been through everything in here now, right? This is the police station. Oh, this guy's got green eyes. Okay, what are you all about? Oh, he's... Oh, radiated zombie. Oh, he's radiated. Does it give him superpowers? We don't know. Well, what's that? Oh, that's a, that's a tank. Okay, I can see zombies standing upstairs and downstairs. Die, you radiated scum! empty can. Nothing on that guy. Okay. Well, that is an eerie sound. Is it Silent Hill that has that air raid sound too like that? Oh, look at this place. Oh, I like this. This is a much older town. This looks like the town I kind of grew up in where you got the old downtown area, the you know, main street where you had your grocery store, your drugstore and all that stuff. Oh, ho. Oh, tell me there's a vehicle here somewhere, you guys. Although you'd be hard-pressed to drive it down Main Street. So the police station's full of radiated. Oh, I missed. Wow, she's tall. That one's really tall. That Is that a chef's hat on that zombie? Oh, she's running, too. Oh, I love that noise. I love that sound. I'm looking for a car specifically. That's why I've not gone actually into the city. Just checking for a vehicle. This is a cool little town. Look at the uh, the coffee on the coffee cup on the saucer up there on the rooftop. That's pretty cool. Call call Hal now. Crime lawyer. <laughs> Someone's drawn horns. And uh, nasty teeth on his face. <laughs> Nobody likes Hal. Well, David Jones, you have struck out on your vehicle mission, pal. Oh, look, there's a whole pile of them down there where that air raid siren was going off. Whole pile of them. I wonder if this diner's got any food in it for us. Did she lose us? No, nah, she didn't lose us. She knows exactly where we are. <coughs> I've noticed that there's more zombies inside the buildings too this go around. There wasn't quite as many in the buildings before. Didn't seem like it anyways. Oh, there's some good boxes in there. There's stuff in every one of these rooms. I hear somebody like coming down. The, the lighting's kind of odd all of a sudden. Is 
Sounds like there's somebody upstairs, possibly. Oh, that's a lot of zombies out there. GPS is probably worth a lot of money, but I'm just... God, food, man. Food, food, food. I am really hurting for that. And still no vehicle. Well, that's a lot of Z's right there. Holy crap. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, eat that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Eat that, too. Grab that water and grab that toothpaste. Toothpaste. You can eat... It's not toothpaste, but you know what I mean. It's just, I'm just being funny about that. I know it's not toothpaste. Uh, yes, please. Give me the water. <laughs> I will not die from water again. We'll take that water with me. A little bit of food. Our food is almost back up again, so we're doing pretty good food-wise now. Oh, there's a... There's a... Oh, beautiful. And we're getting all kinds of water. Oh, but using the R, knowing that, is just so huge. I know. <laughs> it's... It's pathetic, but it's true. Thank you so much for letting me know about R. It's just the little things in life that keep us going. Sometimes. Knowing that R rotates things in my inventory is... Perfect. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, here we go. Food. Now we're talking. What's this? Rusted can. No idea what that's for. Just throw it in there. Oh. Okay, he didn't see me. He went outside. That's good. That's where we want him. Nothing in this counter here. Oh, God. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Get up. Get up, radio. Yeah, I don't like the crawling zombies. I really don't like how they... Their mechanic is not very good. I don't like it. Oh, he's stuck. See, they get stuck. On the corners and stuff. So that's something that needs to be looked at. Okay, we've drawn some attention to ourselves. Grandma! Slow down! Oh! Jeez, man, she hits hard. My health's not looking too good. Bandage. Painkillers. There we go. There we go. Now we're okay. I'm going to leave that wire there. I know all these things are probably good for building and everything else, but I'm just I'm sticking with the food at the moment. We just really need a lot of it. We seem to need a lot of food. And there's not a lot of it available. We got restaurants across the street. I find that I'm pretty much running out of food and I gotta eat again right away in order to. I'm, I'm having to eat a lot. Uh, no. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, I'm faster than you. Yep. Point. Holy cow, I can't believe it. We've spent almost two hours now looking for a vehicle, and we've not found one yet. The real Johnny F. You can use the rusted can to shiv zombies and give them tetanus. <laughs> right? St oh, here's a, here's a busted vehicle right here. Oh, it's a golf cart. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. I love that to death. A golf cart. Fix that thing. <laughs> Our first vehicle of this guy's life happens to be a golf cart. 
did not know the golf cart was a thing. All right, you repaired a refuel. I don't have any gas on me. <laughs> How much gas does it have in it? Not much. Well, that is really cool. That is neat. Yoink. Sorry, buddy. So they don't go to the car, or the golf cart. Oh, and I'm stuck on a log. We're gonna do this over here. Whistle them all over on this side, and then we're gonna go check out that church, see if maybe we get a... I know we've got gas over at the mall. All right, looks like we managed to pull just about everybody off the church here. Yeah, they're all over there having a uh, meeting. Oh, another duffel bag. Uh, can I put the duffel bag in a duffel bag? Ah, oh. Okay. The sleeping bag, which we don't need at the moment. I could see we're getting a base set up and then just going out and looting for the day and going back to your base at night would be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll grab these. All of that. There we go. We'll grab those nails also. Do I have this metal in anything else I'm using right now? I do, right here. Okay, let's grab that metal. Can I put this tent in here? No, I need more space. A uh, can of food. We're going to do that. Get our cans up here. The lock pick, we could throw that out. We could throw this into here too. The rusted can, I'm going to just drop it. I don't know what it's good for, but it's probably good for something. We'll figure that out eventually, I think. If you guys like this, uh, this game that we're playing here together today, I can put that down here. There we go. I'm not very good at management, I know, of my inventory. So this table I can actually take, see, and I can take this table and I can place it anywhere I want to. And I think you can put things on top of it too, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the church didn't have much of anything in it, kind of a dud. We got a pile of wood here that we could chop and get wood from. Another trash pile seemed to have anything in it. That van is empty. There's a sleeping... Yeah, okay. So I think we're good there. Let's run down the street. We've got a little bit of time left. We've got the golf cart, which is cool. Uh, there's not much room in it. We should check the trunk, though, and see how much stuff we can put in the trunk. Can I get up on top of these guys? No. Oh, they ate this guy. Got the Bible on him. Is this where we kind of started today? Look at the size of that bomb in the ground over here. Oh, this is the rad zone. Yeah, you can see it gets all foggy. Radiation zone here. So we've got radiation pills, and we have a respirator on, but it only does 85% protection. Let's go in here and see if we take start taking some damage. Damage nuke, entering area. So these are going to be radiated zombies as well. Apparently they have very good senses and they can see you from a long ways away. And it's a very small zone. That's a very small area. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so I've got food, right? Okay, I know I'm not in the golf cart. I'm checking down here to see if we got any other vehicles that we could possibly jump into and take down by that golf cart. Maybe a nice pickup truck and put the golf cart in the back. Just kidding. I don't think that's a thing. But there's a gas station down here. 
Ooh. Uh, okay, let's do, let's do a little O action here. Everybody, come on over. I'm wanting to go in that gas station to see if we got some some fuel for our golf cart. Beautiful. Oh, we got one idiot stuck in a car. Oh, he's not stuck. He is an idiot, though. Okay, you can keep your cell phone. Ah! Ha! Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. Can I put this gas anywhere? Put it right in there. All right, beautiful. We can refill our, our golf cart. Very good. Let's check the storefront for any loot. Uh, there's some food. Oh, baby. That's nice. Some more cloth. We can make some more bandages. And we got a water. I'll just use that. I'm going to eat that tomato. I'm going to grab that lantern. There we go. Very nice. So we got some more lights. I'm looking forward to actually trying to build a base in the next episode. Now, this rock is the stuff that we can pick, I believe. With a pick, we can get this rock right here. Can I do it with this here? You need a pickaxe. Okay, sweet. So that's where we get the rock. But here's the wood. We have the hatchet, so we're good there. Uh, here's another rad zone. Another one. Turn back, it says. Patient zero building. Oh my god. All kinds of... It's like a temporary tent facility to work on. Okay, I see a radiation meter down there is going down very slowly. So let's get back out of here and see what happens with that radiation meter. Bottom left-hand corner there. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder if I'm when it zeroes out, that's probably when I'm in the biggest amount of trouble, huh? I don't see it going back up, though. So what do I do? Take a rad pill? Okay, that filled it right back up again, the whole meter. Okay, so you get a limited amount of time that you can actually be in an area like that. I know I found a respirator that has much better um, protection on it. Alright, let's go get our golf cart. Oh man, I've got to say I enjoy being in this world. I like it. It feels very forested. I feel like I'm outside in the forest. It's the apocalypse. We meet again, Green Eyes. You have beautiful eyes. Oh, look at this. He's got a great big giant backpack as well. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Well, that thing turns on a dime, dang it. Just want to get to someplace safe. And I will not play this character uh, until we play together again. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream of Surround Dead. Yeah, we've, we've got ourselves geared up. we got a bunch of loot laying around. We just have to go around and get all of it. But uh, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate it if you hit the like button very much and just let me know and give me some feedback on that because I would like to do some more. I think it would be fun to kind of get into the base building a little bit and see what we can come up with for uh, David Jones here. David Jones, right? David Jones. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.